coming up right now, we're going to talk to uh, an amazing woman. You probably have seen her on television. She was on the networks for years. She worked for both ABC and CBS. She was on Good Morning America. She was a a CBS news correspondent. Uh, She had a lot going for her. It's Channel Mom with Jenny Dean Schmidt. We're here for you. Brought to you by the Healthy Marriage Project. Just click on one of their ads to find out about a healthy relationship workshop near you. Hattie Kaufman is here to be honest with us about that. She's written a new book called Falling Into Place, a memoir of overcoming. And boy, is it. She grew up in a home of alcoholics. She loves her parents and and has beautiful things to say about them by the end of the book. But it was a tough way to grow up. She had as long as seven days, eight days without them. They would just leave the house and leave all seven kids by themselves. And they, they would have no food and sometimes no running water. They'd have to go get water from a gas station. They, they would have no heat. They would huddle around together to keep each other warm. I mean, just incredible. Yet she she's amazed by how her two eldest siblings took care of them, amazed how God walked them through it, uh, was blessed by an aunt who loved God and, and helped her through the hardest times. And just an incredible story. Today, though, we're going to talk about divorce. Okay, so I, we, I got married at age 35. Now, fast forward 17 years, and I'm 52 years old, and I really, you'd think I have it all. I, I'm a network news correspondent. I fill in for the anchors occasionally. Um, I'm living in Brentwood by then, and I think we're going to get old together and retire. And one day my husband comes home and says, I just settled for you. I'm no longer committed. I've never been committed. I settled for you because... I was tired of being alone, and you were pretty then. Yeah, you were pretty then. I mean, what does that do to a woman, especially when she's 52? You collapse. That's what it does. I just yeah. collapsed like a balloon got punctured. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yes. So go there for a minute, because I'm not perfect, and, and I happen to be married, but that doesn't mean that I don't have complete compassion for that sentence. And, and I have a lot of friends who've gone through that sort of a thing. Talk to the women out there who've been rejected by the one they've been married to for years. Oh, well, it took, me, it took me a long time to grasp what was going on, because at first you internalize it. You internalize it, and you actually believe him. And you believe that maybe you were pretty and now you're not, or you believe that somebody settled for you. And it took me a long time to realize that, no, those are words spoken so that they're, it ends the dialogue. It, it, you know, yeah. that way, if, if someone says mean things, they're just trying to close the door so they don't have to uh, work <laughs> work at it or look at their own part in it or whatever yes. it might be. I mean, it, it took me a long time. I, I was sort of, I mean, uh, not sort of, I was very much knocked over by this and in shock, frankly. I, I, it hit me so out of the blue. I was completely in shock. But it took me a long time to realize, and somebody said, Hattie, this is not about you, and it took, it, you know, it's about the other person. It's their, it's, you, you've done nothing to deserve this. It took me a long, long time to um, absorb and get that. But once I did, it, it, it was very freeing, and I, I, I would tell women who are being hurt right now in any situation similar to this that, oh, God loves you. And uh, and and don't believe don't believe the word. 